السلام عليكم معكم الاستاذ محمد النجري استاذ التنميه التمهيدي في ثانويه ابن سينا مديريه مراكش اكاديميه مراكش اسفي كما كتلاحظوا معنا الدرس ديالنا اليوم هو عباره عن مراجعه ديال الوحده الثانيه So as I said we will have a general review of unit 8 This unit is about science and technology as you know okay So let's start with a vocabulary review first As you can remember we have seen many words related to both science and technology Uh, let me now just remind you of these words we have seen mathematics geometry physics chemistry medicine laboratory astronomy discovery internet computer parts laptop cell phone TV, satellite, CD, CD player, digital camera, electricity, and invention. What I would like you to do, please, take one minute to read these words and complete the table with either words that belong to science or technology. So I think it's time to correct now. So let's see what we have. So science, we shall start with science first. So we have mathematics, geometry, physics, chemistry, medicine, laboratory, astronomy, discovery and invention. We can have both for science. And moving on to technology, we have internet or internet, computer parts, laptop, cell phone, TV, satellite, CD, CD player, digital camera, electricity, discovery, invention, so we can have them both for in science and technology. Good. Now we would like to move on to another important part of our review, which is grammar and writing. Let's take a look at this sentence. This sentence will summarize what we will review in this part of the lesson. So let's read the sentence together. You wrote this email yourself, didn't you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, good. So, in this sentence, we have simple past. And we have studied simple past versus past continuous. Good. And then we have seen write an email. So, we will write an email. And then yourself is a reflexive pronoun. Didn't you is a question tag or a tag question. So this is a summary of what we will do now. First, let's start with tag questions. Okay, so just a quick reminder. When we have a positive statement, we must have a negative question tag and the other way around. So we can start with a negative statement, but we must have a positive question tag. So let's take these 
sentences as an example. And let's go through these together. Let's take the first sentence. You are tired, aren't you? What order do this sentence follow? Good positive statement, negative question tag. How about the other three sentences? Let me help you. Susan doesn't play football, does she? So we have good, negative, positive. And the third, they went to the zoo, didn't they? We have positive, negative, nice. And the last one, Mr. Smith isn't a mean person, is he? So we have negative, positive. I think it's clear, this one. Okay, and this is something you must keep in mind. Next, so let's see these sentences. Okay, so we have 10 sentences and I would like you to choose the correct question tag for each sentence. Are you ready? Good, but before we move on, I need to remind you of something. Okay, so I underlined some words here, some verbs for you. Okay, so this is a reminder. When there is an auxiliary verb, I think you remember the auxiliary verbs, we use it again and we pay attention. If we have a positive statement, it should be negative. And the other way around, as I said. No auxiliary verb, we use do, don't, did, didn't. It depends. So let me help you with the first sentence. You see, you like. Do we have an auxiliary or we don't have an auxiliary? We don't have an auxiliary, so we must use do, don't, did or didn't. So, take a minute to do this. All right, so let's correct. And of course, if, you, if the time is not enough, you can pause the video and you can take as much time as you need. Okay, good, so let's correct. So we have the first one. I helped you with this one, so it should be don't you. And the second one, it should be was he, very good. The third one, it should be isn't it, good. The fourth one should be are they, good. And the fifth one should be wasn't he good? The sixth one should be can they? Seven, isn't it good? Number eight should be doesn't he? And number nine, won't she? Ah, okay. And the last one, it should be aren't a? Aren't I? Sorry. And this is the exception we had, and we talked about this one. Okay. So this time. Here are the answers. So this time we'll have a practice. I'll not give you options or choices. You will decide on the question tag. So take some time. Okay, so let's correct. Your father teaches science. Doesn't he? Good. 
Number two, his MP3 player isn't new. Is it? Good. Number three, many inventions were accidental. Weren't they? Good. Number four, your elder brother doesn't like video games. Does he? Number five, your sister can use a digital camera. Can she? Number six, and finally, your brother didn't send the email. Did he? Okay. So now, let's move on to the second grammar, which is reflexive pronouns. So this is just a reminder. So subject pronouns and then reflexive pronouns. So help me with the first one. I, myself, good. You, yourself, he, himself, she, herself, good. It, itself, we, ourselves, you, yourselves, great. They, themselves. Again, the difference between the first you and the other you is that the first one is singular and the next second one is plural. Nice. Now, I'll give you some time to do this, to choose the correct reflexive pronoun. So, take some time. So it's correct. For the first one is please do yourself a favor. Good. Number two, we will do it ourselves. Good. Number three, it can do it itself. Good. And then my daughter fixed her cell phone herself. Nice. Number five, Mm -hmm. They fell and hurt themselves. Good. I hurt myself. Very good. So now it's time for grammar three, which is simple past versus past continuous. Okay. So I'd like you first to find mistakes in these sentences. Of course. I found the mistakes for you, but it's your job to give me the correct form of verb to be in the past. So let's do it together. For the first one, is it okay to say I were looking or I were cooking? It should be I was cooking. I help you with the second or you do it yourself. Okay, I give you some time to do it yourself. So you do the rest. So let's correct. So number two, Jamila and her husband were good. Number three, Zakaria was nice. Number four, Camelia was. And number five, the dog was barking. Nice. Ahmed and I. It's Ahmed and I, not just I. Good. Were. Number seven, you were playing video games. Excellent. Another exercise in which you will give me the correct form of the negative. So we have the first one. I can help you with the first one. So way it's written. Okay. So we have number one. I wasn't cooking yesterday. Okay. So I'll give you some time just to take a look to go over the rest and find the correct form.
Good. So now let's correct for number two. Yes. Number three. Yes. Number four. Good. Number five. Nice. Number six. Good. And number seven. Excellent. So here are the negative forms of verb to be in the past. Good. So it's just about spelling now. Now, here is the lesson we did last time, which is past continuous versus simple past. And we have seen the two forms with when and with while. Here we have with when. So we have a long action interrupted by a short action in the simple past. When you called, I was watching. I was watching when you called. Okay? And here we have the rule as a reminder. And the second form with while. So while, long action. My friend called, interrupt the action. And the other form, of course, when it's in the middle. And this is the structure again. Good. So now, let's practice what we studied and let's revise what we studied. So, again, in this exercise, I will help you with giving you options. Okay? So, take a minute to go through the sentences to choose the correct verb form. Pay attention to when and while. Okay, so let's correct. If you think you need more time again, you can pause the video. So the first sentence, when she called, good, I was reading, very good. Number two, while was writing, very good, he broke, nice. Number three, Ahmed was watching when the electricity went out. Number four, the phone rang while I was studying. Good. Number five, while the scientist was working, he made a great discovery. Excellent. And number six, I was walking when I came across my new teacher. Okay, fine. Now, with this exercise, I don't give you choices, so you do it yourselves. So take some time to give me the correct form of the verbs. So let's see what you got. First sentence, while she what was studying very good. Someone knocked. Number two, while he was writing, he suddenly felt asleep. Good. 
Number three, Susan was playing when the electricity went out. Good. When the phone rang, I was studying. Excellent work. Okay. So now I would like you, since we talked about the past, I would like you just to remind you of this. These are some questions we use to ask about past inventions. You remember we asked questions with what, with do you know who, when, and who. Okay? And let me remind you using this example. Do you remember this picture? Okay, so let's see this conversation. And let me read it for you. Do you know who invented the electric light bulb? I don't know. Thomas Edison, a great inventor. When did he invent the light bulb? He invented the light bulb in 1879. Do you know his other inventions? No. What did he invent? He invented the vote recorder, the phonograph, etc. Okay? So, in this conversation, we have three important questions asking about past inventions. We have, do you know who? When did he invent? And what did he invent? Okay? So, now, if I would like you to practice this, just to revise this, let's take this great inventor. His name is Charles Babbage. And I would like you to write a short conversation using the given information, making and asking the right questions and giving the right answers. So take some time to write this short conversation. Okay, so you can put your pens down now, but actually you will need your pens because, or maybe your computers, because we shall move on now to writing an email. Okay, so you remember if I ask you what is an email, you will simply answer me with this. It's an electronic mail. Good. And we said that it's a message between people, they use electronic devices. Like what? As you see, we have computer, a cell phone, or a laptop. Okay, so a computer in general, or a cell phone. Okay, good. And question I asked you, and I ask you again, why would you write an email to your friend? What are the reasons for writing this email? Do you remember? So we have to check on him to say, hi, are you okay? Share news, information, future plans, example vacation. Ask him or her for a favor, please, can you give me something? Thank him or her for a favor, thank you for doing something good to me, okay, nice. Invite him or her to a party, a visit to your city, a country. Complain about something wrong. You don't like something. You're not happy with something and you complain using the email You apologize for doing something wrong. You say I'm so sorry my friend I didn't mean to hurt you and so on and so forth So just to remind you again of what we have in the email. So this is the email Okay So we have first the recipients email Okay, so we have the email of the person who is going to receive the email. Nice. The second thing is the topic of the email. And remember, the topic should be short. Nice. 
And then we have a greeting or salutation, dear X, hi X, hello X, because this is your friend, it's okay to use these. And next we have the body. The body is the message, the thing you want to tell your friend, okay? And then we have a closing, so you close the email, you say take care, goodbye for now, best wishes, okay? And then finally, last but not least, your first name, because this is your friend, you use just your first name, okay? Nice, you don't need to use your family name here. And then you send your email. Sometimes before you send your email and you want to attach something, you can use this, okay, this one here. Good. So now I would like you to take a look at this email, look at it very carefully. It's not organized. I would like you to put each element in the right place, okay? So good luck. Have you finished? Not yet? So I'll give you one more minute. Okay, I hope you finished now. So, let's correct. First, we put the email, again as I said, in the recipient's place. And the topic is, or the subject, my birthday party, very good. And then we start with, hello, yes sir. And I hope you're fine. I'm writing this email to let you know that next Friday is my birthday, very good. And then I would really appreciate that you join us then, very good. We will certainly have so much fun together. Hey, don't forget the gift. Haha. <laughs> Bye for now, your friend Mohammed. I would like to say bye for now. And please, you can give an answer to this, your, to this email on your own. So I think that's it for today and have a nice day.